The Civilian Government, August 6, 2020 by Anna von Reitz. Let's begin. The civilian government is not the same as the civil government. The civilian government stands over and directs both the military and the civil government. The civilian government does not use political parties to conduct business or dictate elections. Stop and re-read and think about that. No political parties. The actual civilian government of this country has groups that propose changes and that argue for this change or that change, but there are no established lobbying organizations that endure for decades at a time, no, Democrat, and no, Republican, political lobbies. That is a foreign European tradition that was imported by communists who came here in 1848, when they were kicked out of their home countries for causing trouble during the 1848 Workers' Rebellion in Europe. They had organized to advocate for better wages and working conditions and for basic rights and freedoms similar to what Americans enjoyed, but their thought processes were so indoctrinated in the European tradition that they couldn't function as Americans, and so, they brought their political parties and guilds and other problematic institutions with them to this country and shared the joy. Like a common case of syphilis. We, Americans, don't vote. We elect. And we certainly don't participate in private corporate elections that pertain only to our employees and the internal workings of their service organizations. We have our own elections and issues to worry about. We'd like to work with Donald Trump because he keeps his word, but if we get stuck working with some other officer of the corporation, or have to directly address the Pope, the Queen, or the Lord Mayor, it's all the same to us. The civilian government is an unincorporated business. It is run like a business according to facts and practical circumstances. It is not substantially interested in opinions, beyond healthy debate of factual information. We don't get into pity potty. We don't favor some, citizens, over others. We don't engage in partisan political agendas, because political parties don't exist in our actual government. Instead, we are all Americans, and we are all here for the good of America, and that's all there is to that. This united front and the simplicity of our system of politics is a great advantage. Our electoral process costs almost nothing, remains fact-driven, and therefore avoids all the hysterics and lies and deceits. In our system of things, you have choices to make and issues to debate, but it isn't the pathetic sideshow so obvious in the political party offerings today. One wonders when the Democrat bought and paid for press will start criticizing President Trump's sideburns. They are too long. They aren't long enough. Surely it reveals lack of moral character to wear your sideburns too long. Or, alternatively, surely it shows a dangerous lack of mental stability to wear them too short. You might as well have a group of Stone Age witch doctors driving public policy. So come home to sanity. Populate your actual government and do your public duty. Go to https colon slash slash the American States Assembly dot net slash. If you enjoy having Anna's latest articles made into videos, please consider making a purchase from Ed's website sacredintuitiveelements.com. Thank you.